Today on Toy Shiz, is the Redeemer redeemed? Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys, and today, I'm very excited, we are checking out their brand new Spawn Universe, the Redeemer, a fully articulated Spawn action figure. Rejoice! For those that called them statues all those years ago. Very cool looking figure, very cool looking character, just by the way, 14 plus, this is not a toy. Wink wink, also you see a McFarland Platinum Edition sticker right there. We'll get back to that in just a second. Gorgeous artwork on the packaging, very stunning. On the back side you get to see a figure, doesn't really match the one in the box, right? Well that's because it's a Platinum Edition variant, yeah, in case you didn't know. McFarlane is known for its variants, so it's got different wings and a sword. Very McFarlane-ish. Don't be surprised if this happens more than a thousand times when this line keeps going. Again, on the side of the box, very cool. And here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and grab it. Keep in mind, these are due to hit store shelves in and around, let's say, August, September. Something around that time. And if you were wondering, yeah, these are huge boxes, especially the Violator, which we'll be looking at, but it reminds me of old school Spawn figures. Go in the store, get in the Desiccator, something like that. You can see the size difference. They're roughly around the same size as McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, but they are very much the bigger figure, bigger everything packaging for the Marvel Legends line. And just to keep in mind, like I said, with the Gunslinger Spawn, I love my old Spawn figures. You can't change that. You can't take it away. You can't say, oh, these are going to ruin them, or oh, these are infinitely better, yada, yada. I had those figures for many, many years. I'm still collecting old school Spawn figures. They're great. They're awesome. So we're going to look at these with fresh eyes, see how they stack up to modern articulation, the modern sort of action figure. But in either case, we're going to have fun. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Spawn Universe, The Redeemer by McFarlane Toys. And of course, here is the anti-spawn, I mean, Eddie Frank, I mean, the Redeemer, what is it, like the third or fourth Redeemer at this point? It's no Jason Wynn anti-spawn, that's for sure. But this new Redeemer is the new look for him in recent Spawn comics, including the new Spawn universe. He does have these portholes on the back, that's where the wings will fit in. You kind of have to give him a good shoving in there, but once you do... You get this amazing looking Redeemer figure, and I really like the green wings. So that's going to be exclusive to the whole platinum look. He's going to have the green wings and instead of like the more grayish toned type angel wings. And it works for me. However, there's one little caveat to this. The wings are incredibly heavy. I would even go as far as to say the two wings put together are heavier than the figure. And guess what? It makes him incredibly back heavy. So unless you have a stand or you get him in that crouching position, you're not going to be able to stand this guy in that sense. And as far as like a DC Multiverse stand or a Marvel Legends stand, if you have a really sturdy, heavy stand that can hold this guy up, because he's heavy, <laughs> you're going to be looking at standing him up basically in this position all the time. So that's a bummer, and it's also a cool thing, I guess, at the same time. You get this really cool heavenly sword. It's different than the standard release. Really ornate. Looks like fire coming out. That would be cool if you could have put, like, a fire effect on there because the sword is always glowing on fire. Something like that. But really nice overall. But the Redeemer himself. That's a little, ah, uh, moment, right? This guy is great. I love the golds mixed with the blues, but the green wings really elevate him with the little shades of green in color to his costume. Ornate gold details all over him. I like how every little thing is different. You got crosses right there on one leg, kind of mimic spawn. You've got the really cool gauntlets and gloves right here, spikes. That's a necessary thing for any spawn figure character, right? On his chest plate right here, very, very cool. Just all kinds of heavenly inspired ornate details. Right there on his shoulder pads, both inside and outside. And the shoulder pads, you'll see in a second, they work with the articulation of this guy. He's actually pretty solid in that sense. I love the head, the face mask, got the cross right there with his mohawk of spikes, which just be careful when putting on the wings. You'll know what I'm talking about if your finger slides off, right? <laughs> Right into the spikes it went. But the wings are cool. They are articulated to a degree. They kind of just like fold 
back. I wouldn't say that they go up and down. They kind of make me nervous in the sense of you don't really want to push them too far, whereas they mainly go back and forward. I wouldn't say they go up and down in that sense. You can remove them, but just go really easy. That's another thing that kind of makes me nervous. You know, I want to stress anything, break anything. In terms of the articulation, I think it's pretty good. In the terms of his head, up, down, left, right, looks down and looks up, I think, enough to where it suits my needs for a heavenly inspired redeemer. He does have butterfly joints, although on this side of the arm, as you can see, it's very loose, unfortunately, so that's kind of a bummer. Not so much on this side at all. It's incredibly stiff, so it's kind of like a mixed bag right there, unfortunately, so keep an eye out for that. He does have bicep swivel. It's attached right there when you kind of swivel it to those pads that will move with his arms. He does have double jointed elbows, which work really nice, very flush, nice blue to him. He does have pins, of course, but overall the figure looks really nice with that blue. He's got a semblance of an ab crunch. I would say it goes a lot further back than it goes forward. He twists at the upper part and he will twist at the waist. I think the front looks good. But if you go to the back right here, it's just something to point out. It doesn't really flush all too well. It's like a different colored blue as opposed to the rest of his upper torso. And it more so looks like he's wearing pants instead of being a flush suit. Like at the top right here, it's cut, but it flushes a little bit better. Whereas this sticks out way too much like he's wearing oversized pants. You know what I mean? Thank God it's on the back, right? He will kick out, kick to the side. He does not have anything in the thigh cut. So that's a bummer. I think this is a figure that would have benefited from a thigh cut. Not every figure has to have it, but he's one of those that would look good. He does have those ball joints. They're okay. I think he stands a little bit better, minus the wings. I'll show you in just a second. He's got toe articulation and peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Thank God, right? In terms of standing this guy up. But I do think that it's a gorgeous looking figure. It just really stumbles in terms of standing him up properly. When you want to go ahead and use his sword, he has trigger holding fingers on both hands. So in that sense, extra hands, including a fist, maybe like an energy blast would have been really cool to have. The one thing I do like is that with the hand on this sense, if you're holding the sword up, it kind of looks like he's doing the whole He-Man thing, you know what I mean? This hand would look great doing an energy blast thing. So yes, extra hands would be great for some of these figures. But yeah, I like that you can kind of get them looking up, doing the whole heavenly pose. It looks cool. And when you do get him in a stand that can hold his weight, he looks great. He's got the big angel wings, the sword. He's coming down. He's going to strike down Spawn or whoever else he's coming in to fight. He looks good. I propped him up on my little rotating stand right here. That is like the best thing. So we're gonna go ahead and take his wings off for the rest of this because in terms of doing it right and showing him off how he stands, it's a necessary thing. In terms of the scalage, I think that he works really well with the MK11 Spawn. Redeemer, I see him, yeah, he's usually a bigger type figure around the size of Spawn. The Gunslinger Spawn is still taller. So this Redeemer sort of clocks in just under the seven and a half inch mark whereas the Gunslinger is eight and a half inches. If you wanted to pair him up with another heavenly angel serial killer right here, Angela from the Marvel Legends line, as you can see, I think that those two look great together. How cool is that? After all these years, Redeemer, Angela, gonna go hunt down some spawns. And of course, here is the Redeemer with the Apostle, a very cool looking figure. If the Apostle was not in a pre-posed stature, then yes, he would be around the same size as this new Redeemer figure, but saving the best for last. This is my original Redeemer. I still love him. Anti-Spawn, as he was once called. Of course, you can see the costume has changed now. So whereas you could say this old Redeemer was like, quote unquote, Jason Wynn or something like that, this is the new look for the Redeemer. So we're not doing Anti-Spawn anymore. But as you can see, very cool look for this, it was a different variant, but he was always very special to me. I like the difference right there. And you go ahead and open his chest cavity and right underneath was the button. And yep, to this day, he still turns on. Giant battery pack on his back. I would love to see them do and tackle an anti-spawn later in this line, give him one of these energy blast sort of knife hands, right? Like the Evil T-1000, something like that. I just, I like that anti-spawn look, but I do like this new Redeemer look as well. But in either case, they could be separate characters for all I care, right? 
Putting up against older Spawn action figures originals, put them with Mal Bolgia too. I think that looks pretty cool. Overall, he reminds me of the Redeemer from the classic covers series. There's a couple hits and misses here and there with not being able to stand him properly because of the heft of the wings. It's a bit of a bummer. It's a gorgeous looking action figure through and through. So in that sense, I'll give it to him all day. I just think that he should have come with a stand or something to really elevate him, give him that whole Redeemer look. So that's really gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Spawn Universe, the Redeemer figure. A very gorgeous looking update to the Redeemer. One that, yeah, added articulation really does bring this character to life. The bummer is the sense of his wings makes him so back heavy, if you will. A stand would have been perfect for this guy. That aside, the wings on this specific version really bring that whole energy necro glow to him. So I actually do prefer this to a more just gray wash sort of wings. I think that the green really brings out the blues and the golds. Extra hands would have been fantastic for this guy through and through. But I think that the sword, I actually kind of like that more than the one that's shown on the box, to be quite honest with you. I can't say that I'm not going to get the other one just because... Yeah, it looks cool. Plus, I guess there's another black and silver Redeemer coming as well. Just brace yourself for the variants on the spawns. I'm just saying, if you know McFarlane Toys, you know, you know what's going to happen in that sense. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this new Redeemer. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Spawn Universe. And thank you again to McFarlane Toys for sending this out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, don't worry. I got lots more looks at lots more new spawns figures coming up. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.